Hey, welcome to Hillbilly Boys. If you haven't yet, hit that button right there, subscribe and share. Today, I'm gonna do something that a lot of you probably aren't gonna like, and that is bring a fly back from the dead. Even though I hate them, they bug me and stuff, gotta have them. Okay, so I got this secret little hillbilly concoction I'm gonna make up that'll bring this fly back to life. All right, I'm gonna go get a few things. I need to get a leaf or one petal. I need to get one petal off of a wild daisy, some moss that needs to be dipped into stump water, and then, I already have this at home, but wampus cat hair, that is a really important ingredient because it secretes this special oil out of there that helps bring the fly back. Anyway, here is a wild daisy right here. All I need is one petal of this. This one, because it's all gonna be mixed together here in a little bit. Let's show you what's going on here. All right, so you need to find some moss that grows in the sun, because normally it grows in the shade, and I happen to find some in this clear area right now that grows out in the sun on a rock that's right up here, and I'll show you that, come up here. So this rock sits out in the sun most of the day, and I'm gonna grab a piece of this moss. I don't need this much, but I need to get this where I can get it down into the stump because I'm gonna have to dip this in stump water with this uh, wild daisy petal, and I mix those together, and I'm gonna use that juice. All right, so I told you the next step was to get the moss and dip it in some stump water, and I think I found one right over here. Check it out right here. Stump on this tree with a hole in it, and so it's got a little bit of rain water. I don't know if you I don't think you can see the water in there, but I'm gonna dip this in here real quick because it needs to have some stump water on it. Pull it out, let y'all see. I got some stump water on it. Oh, there it is. Get a little more stump water on there. So I'm gonna fill this up. We'll mix these three ingredients: stump water, moss. Wild Daisy, mix that together. All right, I'm gonna drop this in this paper towel and roll it up. And in three hours, I'll be back to show y'all how to bring a fly back from the dead. First thing you need to do is get your moss and your dandelion out that's been marinating for three hours. And you wanna get this, it's still got that stump water liquid in there. You wanna squeeze that and get it on your palm really good. Gotta get it on both my hands. I'm not sure which hand I'm gonna use. This is gonna just dry for a little bit. All right. Yep. Then, got my wampus cat hair. It's got a special oil that they secrete that comes out on there. It's very important to get wampus cat hair. All right, let me rub this on here. Now, I need to let this dry for about 10 minutes without washing my hands or anything, and I'll be back to y'all here in just a few minutes, and we'll find us a fly. I just happened to find one right over here. Check it out. All right. Let's look the baby up. Dead fly. All right, so I got the fly back. Now, I just gotta sit here and say a few words. Run them around a little bit. Stupid fly, you're as dead as can be, but before long you will be alive and can see. Gotta say them secret words. Come on, boy. Oh, oh. Come on, boy, you can do it. That's crazy. <laughs> I saw this. He was dead. No can Oh, there he goes. How about that? <laughs> okay, folks. There's your ingredients and instructions. You might go out and try it yourself if you want to, but that's how you bring a fly back to life. I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you next Tuesday.